welcome to campus. We're going to take you on a tour of campus so you can get digitally acquainted with our facilities and start to imagine your trip to the Keystone Science School. Your on-campus experience will begin right here in our parking lot. For our typical programs, buses arrive around noon. If teachers and chaperones bring their own cars, they're more than welcome to park it in this area. There will be a welcoming party to greet you in the parking lot. Teachers, if you can manage to have med forms and liability waivers sorted into field groups at this time, this helps us out an awful lot. From the parking lot, you will be led to the dorms. We have two dorms on campus, each with 32 beds and rooms for cots to expand if we need to. Leave your shoes and luggage on the porch and step inside the common room for if your you first get, orientation. If you get anything wet, we have a drying rack right over here. Following orientation, you'll have time to move into your room. This is a typical room. Two upper and two lower bunks, which you'll share with your friends. After you move into your room, you will come to the dining hall where you'll have lunch. On the first day, you'll need to bring your own lunch from home. All other meals will be provided by the science school. Teachers and chaperones will actually leave the students at this time to have an all adults meeting. During this meeting, we'll make sure that everyone's on the same page in terms of programmatic goals, chaperone roles and expectations, as well as making sure that we all understand the medical and dietary needs of everybody at the program. Speaking of dietary restrictions, you can click the link in this box to watch a video that details all of the systems we have in place to make sure all students' dietary needs are met. After the students and adults have finished their respective lunches and meetings, the instructors will collect their field groups and then the program truly begins. In your field groups you will work and learn and play and explore until 5 o'clock in the evening. The hour between 5 and 6 is referred to as flex time. During flex time you can play outside or relax, doesn't really matter so long as there's an adult or chaperone that's there to supervise you. Dinner begins at 6 o'clock sharp. And then sometime after dinner, typically around 7.30, there will be an hour-long evening program facilitated by science school instructors. This program may be academic in nature to support the curriculum of the trip, or it may be more social in nature, perhaps a team builder. It all depends on the goals of your school and your teacher. After the evening program, you will return to your dorms with your teachers and chaperones for the night. While no science school instructor will be staying in the dorms during your program, we do all live on campus and one of us will be on call in case of an emergency. Breakfast the following morning starts at 8 o'clock. After breakfast, you'll have time to go to your dorm and pack your day pack and prepare for your field day. You will meet your instructor at 9.30 and remain with them until 5 o'clock. During your field day, you will pack your backpack with your lunch as well as all of the gear depending on the season that you will need for the day. And more likely than not, load into one of our 15 passenger vans so that one of our instructors can drive you to a local trail for the day. When five o'clock does roll around, you will be back on campus for the flex time, dinner, EP rotation to start all over again. When you wake up on the final morning, you will be responsible for collecting all of your belongings as well as cleaning your dorm. Often a new group of students is arriving the same day that you leave, so it's really important that you leave it as clean as you found it. Breakfast on that final morning does begin at 8 o'clock, and at 9.30 you will meet with the instructors one more time for a few morning activities. Your program will end with a slideshow, lunch, and possibly a visit to the school store if you want to bring a little bit of souvenir money. After the wrap-up announcements, you will gather all of your belongings, load up onto a bus to go home. It'll be sad. Some of the instructors will probably cry. But don't worry, you can come back in the summer for camp. Hope you enjoyed seeing the campus and learning about a typical schedule. We, we look, look forward, forward to seeing you soon. soon.